A pretty big milestone for pedestrian trails in the Circle City. When new sections of the Nickel Plate Trail are done next summer, it will finish a continuous trail loop across Marion and Hamilton County. Fox 59's Eric Graves talked to people who are looking for a new way to get active. Tracks out of service and about to be gone forever. What little remains of the Nickel Plate line behind me here on 65th Street about to be dug up as the Nickel Plate Trail continues to make its way south through Marion County. 65th Street between Allisonville and Benford Boulevard is now closed for the next two weeks to through traffic as DPW crews continue to install the new Nickel Plate Trail. The nearly $15 million project broke ground in 2023. It's extending the Nickel Plate Trail from Hamilton County south into Marion County. This map shows how it will go down the old rail line and connect with the Monon, creating a 41-mile loop between multiple trails. Parts of the new trail are already paved, while other sections are still gravel, but that hasn't stopped people nearby from taking advantage. Just even getting out for half an hour and getting that movement, kind of blood flow, blood pressure up, you know, heartbeat going, is just really good for my health. I've noticed in the past couple months I've been doing it, I just feel better overall, 100%. This is where the Nickel Plate Trail is going to end in Marion County, going right here by the fairgrounds on 42nd Street to connect with the Monon Trail right here. From here, it's just about five miles north of Hamilton County or five miles south to downtown Indianapolis. On the trail, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Indigo.